Today we have a project that's great for the sports fan or dad or you. It's a wonderful baseball holder from Morena's Crafty Corner. You're going to need just a few things to make it and it'll go together in a breeze. You'll need some four inch round styrofoam pieces and a four inch ball. You're going to need some clear gel glue, some glitter glue, loose glitter is a lot of fun but optional. You also are going to need some tools like a foam brush and a serrated plastic knife so you can cut into it. Toothpicks are also very handy for this. So we're going to start off by taking our four inch round piece and we're going to cover it with the glitter glue. Now if you don't want to use glitter you could also use a tempera paint. It's my handy dandy tip that when you're putting paint on styrofoam use a pouncing motion and it'll help work the glue or the paint down into all the little cracks and crevices. This will be like the grass that our baseball sits on. So you're going to want to cover this completely and then set it aside to let it dry. Kind of like that. If you want, you can even add a second layer of the glitter glue so that it has more intense sparkle and color. This is one that I've already done and it's got two layers on it. Next, we're going to take that four inch ball and we're going to make it sparkly too. We seem to really love sparkle around here. I wonder why. And we're going to take some of this clear school glue just like this and I like to just pour it out. Again, it just makes it easier for me. And use the glue and just dab it in like this. And I want to make sure it's kind of well covered because I'm going to sprinkle the glitter on next. And again, if uh, you're making this as a gift for somebody who isn't as much fan of, of glitter, you can skip this step or just cover it with white paint instead. All right, let's get that glitter out and sprinkle it on top. Fun, fun, fun. Love it. Just like this. Hmm. Glitter makes me happy, what can I tell you? All right, so now we're going to set this aside and let that dry too. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the slit. So this is a great memo holder, but you could use it for pictures or ticket stubs, memorabilia. So we want to create a little slit and you can just take a plastic knife and just saw down into it a little bit. And you want to make just like a gentle V, just enough space. There we go. So that you can fit your pictures or things down in. Now next I'm going to use a toothpick to anchor this all together. You could try and gluing it on just like that, but really a toothpick is going to help. So I'm going to roll it flat a little bit on the bottom like this, just to make it a little flatter, and then dab one end into the glue and insert it in the bottom. And then I might, yeah, I can push that in a little further and add a little more glue like this and go right in like that. So now when you decorate, it's going to hold it still for you. This is where um, a paint pen or the thicker glitter glue is going to come in handy. And we're just going to draw on the sides like this and create that stitching line. And it's really easy. You just kind of make a little V like this. So this side is kind of not sparkly. We'll go ahead and do the sparkly one on the other side too. Either way, this is a fun gift. It's a great way to store that memorabilia that you picked up at the ballpark, or it's a fun birthday gift, Father's Day gift. Even at the beginning of opening day, this could be a fun opening day craft. 